In this video I'm going to be showing you how to resolve your Bluetooth disconnection issue with the Ford Sync program um, slash software in your car. Now the software is flawed at times and may sometimes give you a disconnection error message. Um, this disconnection error message comes in a couple of forms. Um, but the form that I saw the most was when I tried to play music on my phone through Bluetooth and it would just say um, Samsung Galaxy S7 disconnected um, or Samsung error disconnected, something along those lines. Um, this is a very common issue, believe it or not, and a lot of people don't know how to fix this, which hence why I'm making this video today. Um, very basic guide on how to fix this. This will be for the Ford Fiesta. Um, I believe 2013 onwards, but I'm sure that if you have sync in another Ford and you've had this issue, um, you can do the same sort of thing in the same sort of way. Um, but obviously the, uh, the the thing that you're looking for will be in a different location, which is the fuse box. So without further ado, let's crack on. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your vehicle manual. And um, in the vehicle manual, you will find a fuses chapter. Um, if you look at the start of the book, it will tell you where to go to find this. But what we're looking for here is the passenger compartment fuse box, which for my Fiesta is page 144. And um, what we're looking for here is this one here. Sync Bluetooth, which is the fuse number 24. You can locate that on the diagram here um, which is right here so once you've located that and you know where the fuse is you can close your booklet or you can use it for further reference and what you're going to want to do is open your passenger glove box in here you will um, you will be able to open it by pulling these sides in there are little rubber grommets down the sides they're quite hard to see in dark light, but just pull them out, put it back, and same goes for this one. There we go. And once you've got them both out, you can just simply pull the glove box down. Um, don't do it in that manner, obviously. Um, and be behind here is revealed a fuse box. Now, we're not going to be tampering with all of these fuses. We're going to be tampering with one fuse. And that is the number 10 fuse right here. You may not be able to see it properly because I don't have my flash on, but it's in the centre of the screen right now. It's directly right of the 7.5. There's a few of them, but this one's facing the opposite way. Um, it's the only one that's facing the opposite way. So what you guys are going to want to do is simply pull out this fuse, wait about 10 seconds to a minute, and then put the fuse back in. Um, obviously it's better to be safe than sorry so I'd say wait um, a minute or so put the fuse back in um, and you're basically done your issue should be resolved by then and um, you shouldn't have any more issues with the sink um, I found that this did clear up my issue and I'd had the issue for a whole day I tried absolutely everything I tried the master reset I tried the factory reset um, and I tried doing things on my phone as well because I thought the issue was coming from my phone, but it's not. It's actually, in fact, the car itself. So once you replace that fuse, once you um, take the fuse and put it back in, you shouldn't have this issue for a while. I've heard this issue is a recurring issue, so if it does come back in the future, you guys know what to do. It's very, very simple. Just um, pull that fuse out and put it back into the same place and um, you're ready to go so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope it helped you um, i know there's not many videos at all on this on the internet and i just wanted to make a video to help a lot of people because you know not being able to play your music via bluetooth sucks let's be honest <laughs> right anyways cheers for watching this video guys really hope it helped and see you next time